How's it going guys? It's been a bit since I made a video. It's been super busy. But I thought I'd just update you guys. I have had a week of this. This is actually one of the brighter days. And I have 3700 watts of solar hooked up. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm dealing with here. This type of time of year in Canada, you really start to make a lot less power. Like, luckily, I got a little bit of power coming in. My batteries are low. My full voltage is 66 volts. My cutoff voltage is around 50 volts. And I'm, I'm at 55 volts. Reliable inverter is doing amazing. And this I've been using on and off. I actually disconnected the um, the little extension cords I had coming out. I'm going to hardwire this thing soon. And yeah, everything's working well. No issues whatsoever with the system other than lack of power. But we are making almost a kilowatt today. That's nice. 1.3 made so far. It's around noon right now. At the other bank over here, everything's just work, working flawlessly. Um, we'll see about getting another row of these up today. We'll see about that. And I am fixing my universal power supply inside. I blew a MOSFET, so I will be taking either a MOSFET from one of these parrots, or I don't know. We'll see. There's a, bu a bunch of places I can take MOSFETs from. I got lots of spare parts, like. If any of these, whoa, any of these MOSFETs are any good, I could take one from there. Who knows? We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. So we're up on my roof. I got, uh, this is more than 750 watts. That's a little more than 1500 watts. And then I got another 1500 watts over there. And I got these, these are now monocrystalline panels, these are polys. I'm going to put these kind of flat. I'm going to raise them up like two feet or so just to get water off because these have actually done really well because we've had so much rain lately, but you can see I got a low spot there where it's collecting dirt and a tiny one there. Mostly just that panel. So I got to clean that panel, which is no big deal. And I'm going to set these up. And I'll show you when I'm done. So now, this is where the sun's gonna come from. And now you can see all my panels and uh, in one spot. So just increase the solar panel array by 780 watts or so. All right, so this is what we got. So when it snows, I got a nice pathway here for cleaning off the snow off these panels, these panels, I'm gonna have to clean off those panels. And yeah, very simple. Sits in this ridge in the roof really well. It's extremely sheltered by the wind here. The wind's always coming from this direction. So this, like, you, I had these leaning up for about without even this tiny little bracket but I had this leaning up without any brackets for probably three months in the winter and they didn't move an inch so I'm not scared of this getting blown away whatsoever and now we just have to hook it up and I know I'm mixing poly with mono it's not a huge deal I might lose a couple watts but I'm not gonna lose much anyways like always thanks for watching guys and this is why I have to add more solar panels because of this crap weather and we're going to get a lot of these days in the winter. So I got four more 72 cell 330 watt panels to put up and those are probably going to go in the gel bank. Just thought I'd like to show you guys the view from the top of my house. I should build a deck up here. My deck's down there but it's actually quite nice. Quite the drop down here. 
Just gives you a nice overview of uh, my weird looking house. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. So, from the road view, you can barely see that there's solar panels there, but there is. Just see just the tips of them there. And that's my install. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna put uh, two more of the larger panels. I might actually take these down and put all 72 cell panels, I'm not sure. Or I just might put two larger panels right there. And then I gotta, I'm gonna cover the shed next. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them after that. But anyways, I got another, ooh, 1500 watts, at least. So what am I up to now? 3,740, I'm, I'm gotta be around 4,400 or 4,500 watts now solar. And let's see what we're making. Uh, I know we're making very, very, very little in this. It's getting close to winter. And it's gotta be around four. Oh, let's turn the light on there. Oh, look at that. Out of 4,500 watts of solar, I got 75 watts coming in. 3.5 kilowatts today, Woohoo! Just rocked on the solar. Still have the same amount of batteries. Haven't hooked any up. I was gonna do that today, but I got on the solar instead because I got a su sufficient amount of batteries, including these ones. So what I really need is get all the solar up that I can so I can get charged during the day and then I'll be set. And yeah, I'm soon gonna have to put, cut my vents in the wall, put a fan with a temperature, uh, a thermistor so that this room doesn't get below freezing and yeah we're gonna go from there thanks a lot for watching guys hit the like button helps a lot